Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in social media marketing, we will discuss about the metrics and the ROI, the return on investment. How the metrics work, what are the key elements of the metrics, what is ROI, how ROI works and what is the formula that is associated with return on investment. Social media metrics. Social media metrics is basically integrated with the social media analytics just like we have web analytics where you actually analyze the traffic coming to a website you also have social media analytics facebook twitter linkedin they have got their own integrated analytics some call it insights facebook calls it facebook insights some call it analytics it is basically to understand the traffic that is generated from the social media pages, the engagement that is happening, the likes that are happening on social media pages. So basically metrics is associated with the analytics of social media. The impact on business, how much impact is being created on the business with the kind of social media marketing campaign that is being executed. What you see on the front is the campaign that you execute on social media platforms. Behind that, what you see is the insights, the analytical information. Let us say for example, you have a business and you are actually having a social media pages and you are executing the campaign. But at the end of the day, before you actually start executing your social media marketing campaigns, what you need to do is you need to set goals. What is that you want to achieve on social media? You want to get customers to buy your products. You want to get customers to register on your site. You want customers to actually get the newsletters by giving their email address. What are the your goals that you want to achieve? from your social media presence and that is directly proportionately linked with the metrics and metrics is actually the information that you derive from social media analytics and this is basically the impact it creates on your social media business. To understand that impact is what analytics or metrics is all about. Understanding how companies perceived. You have social media pages, people are engaging with you to actually how your business is being perceived by the users is what metrics, measurements and analytics are all about. And social media return on investment. What you get back from the investment? You to create a website, to create pages on social media, to create the kind of content that is needed you are spending huge amount of money to execute the social media marketing campaigns and in return what is that you are getting is what return on investment is all about depends upon specific goals these return on investment depends upon specific goals what is that goal you want to achieve what are your objectives of the social media campaign that you are running these goals can be driving traffic of course is the number one the second is of course you want to sell some products whether people are buying or not you want to check that one you have a goal say for example people register on your site by filling up a form you want people to download certain uh, products in terms of the PDF files what are your goals that you want to achieve depends upon the return that you want to get and that is what return on investment goals are concerned formula is very simple earnings minus cost multiplied by 100 divided by the cost that is basically what social media formula as far as return on investment is concerned you are spending certain amount of money and what is that you are getting in terms of the kind of investment that you are getting in terms of achieving your goals and objectives. That is precisely what return on investment on social media marketing is concerned. How you define the goals basically as far as your social media marketing campaigns, the metrics and the return on investment is concerned. Opt in sign up, this could be one of the goal. Say for example, you want to build a database of customers or potential customers with whom you can interact on daily basis in terms of email marketing or sending reports or emails that is basically an opt-in you are actually driving traffic from social media to your site where a particular form is available you are making people to register on that form 
that is basically what opt-in. You are basically building a database. That could be one of the goal. There could be a contact also. You want people to come to your website, to the website from social media and contact you. Fill up the form, say this name, this email ID, and this is what I need. The customer actually fills up the form, you contact them. This could be one of the goals. Then sales, of course, you have an e-commerce site, you want to sell some products, you drive traffic from social media, people go and buy there. That is converting a lead into a customer. That is sales that you are doing. It can also be possible that you are providing some information where you want people to download those information that could be downloads. So these are basically how you can define your goals. So what is that you want to achieve from your social media marketing campaigns. The some of the top strategies that you can think of implementing, define what are your goals. That is the foremost point. You need to know exactly, say for example, if I want to sell some products on my website from social media traffic, I will define my goal. I want this many number of people to come to my website from social media and I want this many to convert into customers. Say if I am driving say a thousand people from Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram on some other social media platform. Platform, I want at least 100 customers from the 1000 people coming to my website. You are defining what is basically the objective so that you can analyze the metrics and the return on investment. Then you analyze the kind of traffic coming to a website, whether the conversions are happening or not. If the conversions are not happening on the website, why it is not happening? You go on analyzing these factors using the analytics and the insights and you tweak your campaign you go on doing continuous improvement. It is extremely important that you know you analyze and you measure the kind of traffic that is coming. That is extremely important point for metrics and the ROI. You need to measure what is the traffic that is coming for the, from the social media platform, whether it is meeting the objectives or not. Then you do on doing continuous optimization. You need to improve your campaign by doing continuous optimization that has to be a continuous process then you engage you convert and that is how actually some of the top strategies related with the social media marketing in terms of the metrics the measurements and the return on investment is concerned there are lot many tools available in terms of analytics besides of course facebook has its own analytics inside twitter has it linkedin has it instagram has it when you have Pinterest, they have their own analytical tools available for you. Besides from those tools, there are many external tools that are available that will help you in understanding the metrics, the measurements and the analytics. Such as Social Bakers, Cloud, Social Sprout, Sprout Social and Hootsuite. These are extremely high, highly potentially tools that are extremely important in analyzing the social media traffic in analyzing the social media users, in providing the social media analytics so that you can go on improving your metrics, measurements and generate more and more traffic for high return on investment. These tools are very, these tools are paid tools but there are certain tools that are available and they also provide certain period of a free uh, analysis for your website, for the landing pages, you can use these tools to improve the performance of your brand, of your business. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is social media metrics, social media return on investment, defining goals, top strategies and some of the social media analytical tools. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.